So this is part two <clears throat> of special angles on parallel lines. So now that we've established this orientation of two lines and this other line intersecting the two of them, referred to as a transversal, and we've talked about corresponding angles. Again, one corresponds with five because they're in the same relative position at their respective angles. We're going to talk about two other categorization of angles. Um, one is the alternate interior angle. So let me break down those two words and what we mean by those two words. And it'll make more sense then, or at least it'll be easier. When I say interior, I'm saying interior to these two blue lines or inside of them. So inside the two lines that are being cut or intersected by the transversal. So angles three, oops, three, four, five, and six are interior angles. All right. Now to talk about what we mean by alternate, Alternate means that one angle is on one side of the transversal while another angle is on the other side of the transversal. Okay, So one is on the left-hand side, eight is on the right-hand side in this current orientation. It doesn't have to be left and right. So what other angles would be alternating? Three and four are alternate, five and six are alternate, seven, etc. Now what we mean when we put the two words together, alternate interior angles, alternate interior angles, meaning that three is interior and it's alternate to six. So in alternate interior angles would be three and six. Alternate interior angles would be four and five. And there are only two pairs of alternate interior angles. Also alternate, they have to be on opposite sides of the transversal and be at the at different intersections, not at the same. So three and six are alternate interior angles, four and five are alternate interior angles. Alternate exterior. So in this case, the word alternate means the same thing as we used back at alternate interior, except now I'm talking about exterior. I'm hoping that you're working ahead and your brain is working ahead of me and you're saying okay so exterior must mean the angles outside or external to the two lines that are parallel or the two blue lines so they're outside of that region formed by the two blue lines so exterior angles would be one two seven and eight so those angles are exterior now so if I'm looking at ex alternate exterior angles that would be angle 1 and angle 8 that's a pair of alternate exterior angles and of course 2 and 7 